Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in addition to the current ongoing series where I solve questions asked in interviews by various companies using Python and SQL, from this video, I am starting a new parallel series where I will try to solve some of the most frequently asked questions in interviews, where the interviewer tries to confuse you on very basic concepts like uh, can a join take place on null values or what is the difference between inner join and outer join? Do you need on clause for cross joins, etc. Uh, these are just some of the examples which confuse a lot of people. But my focus with this series would be to answer these questions by hands on demonstration so that you can confidently answer the interviewer, impress them with your knowledge as well as your, you know, share confidence. In this video, let's understand with examples how the different kinds of joins are working in an interesting manner and the types of questions that people usually ask related to these joins. Also, here I am using MySQL Workbench. You can download it and install it using the link in the description below or you can just do a simple Google search. If you find any trouble in installing it, let me know or you can just do a quick YouTube search as well. There are a lot of videos on how to install MySQL Workbench. But yeah, if you are still finding it difficult, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to make a separate video on how to install MySQL Workbench. Okay, let's jump right in. So I have created two tables, table one uh, with one column called IT, which has integer values and table two with two different columns, serial number, which has integer values and members, which has again integer values. And I have inserted some values in these tables. And so when I do select star from the table one and select star from table two, so basically return everything from these tables. So table one has these four values. So one, one, null and three. And table two has uh, again four values, uh, one, two, two, four, one, four, null, five. Okay. Now let's understand the various joins. So firstly, let's start with inner join, right? So to understand inner join, consider this analogy. Let's say you are the king or queen of a kingdom, right? Let's say, let's call the kingdom ABC. And let's say this table one is basically the list of the names of the ministers that you have in your kingdom, right? And don't tell me that, you know, num these are numbers, these are not names. Numbers can be names. If you are a fan of Stranger Things, there is a character in there which is called Seven, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, anyhow, uh, these are, let's say these are the names of the ministers and these are the people in the kingdoms, right? And the number of members in their family. Okay, uh, the, so to understand inner joint, let's say you say, you being the king or the queen, you direct your ministers that, okay, go to the kingdom, right? Try to find out if there are people with your same name. If you find people, then collect all the information that you can. So basically from this, the number of members in their family and only return to me if you can find someone matching your name. Otherwise, don't return to me, right? Okay, so what will happen in this case? One, so this minister one, it will go to the kingdom. It will find, oh, there are two people with my name, one, one. So it will collect the information and come back, right? Since the king said that if you can find a person with your same name, you can come back. If not, you don't have to come back, right? Against this person, this minister is with the same name, goes and finds, okay, there are still two people and... Uh, it will return with both of them, right? Let's ignore null for right now. Let's see. Okay, so three, this minister goes and sees, oh, there is no one with my name. Since the king ordered that you cannot return if you cannot find a match. So the minister three did does not return, right? So one finds two matches, one this one finds two matches. So up till now four, right? Now there is a special case with null to understand null. So null or a minister named null, he or she will go to the kingdom, but consider them as lazy. So they will never find people with the same name. Maybe it is their pride or ego that I am the only person who can be named null. And even if there are people in the kingdom named such thing, they will never find people with the same name. And because they will never find people with the same name, these people will not return, right? So now you can understand how many total rows will this inner join give you? Four. Two from this, two from this. This person is not able to find a match genuinely. 
and this person null is lazy and because of their ego they will never find a match so null is equal to null will never happen right so if i run this right so let me run this and let's see if like uh, this analogy fits or not right so as i said right so this one found two matches this one found two matches this did not find and this is going but even if the person find can find a match right can find a match because of the ego right they are not they are going to say we are not i uh, have not found a match and because of that this person cannot return and that is why you have four values now let's look at the outer joints so there are basically two types of outer joints left join and right join the full name are basically left outer join and right outer join so let's start with left outer join now in the same example let's consider that the king or the person or you are basically telling your ministers right so uh, just remove this okay so you are telling your ministers that okay now you can again go to your kingdom try to find a match right try to find a match return to me irrespective of whether you find a match or not right irrespective of whether you find a match or not right so what will happen this again this person will go and find oh okay i find two matches so two rows this person goes and finds oh again two matches finds so total four rows up till now three goes and won't find a match but since the king said that even if you don't find a match you can come back and report that you didn't find a match right so three will say okay i cannot find a match so null null right but this person as i said before even if this person can find a match because of the ego he will return back and say i cannot find a match right so what how many rows will there be in this if i run this so two out of this Two out of this four, this person cannot find a match, so five, and this person, even though can find, will say I can't find, so one out of it, so total six rows. Let me run this and let's see if this is the case. So you see, one could find two matches, another one could find two matches. This could not find any match, and the re return to the king and said that I cannot find anything. this person even they do could find a match right even though could find a match but said did not now you might be thinking like here we have null right and in this table 2 right so in this table 2 uh, if i run this so you had null so had this person found a match right the first minister named null found a match then this 5 would have been populated here right would have been populated in this case if i run this again right so had this null equal to this had worked right so if uh, these this thing has worked for null so here you would see 5 you are seeing null basically why because this person because of the ego even though can find a match will return and say i could not find anything and it will populate null this person went and genuinely could not find a match and because of that these nulls are here but this person not the same case so remember the difference in the nulls that you have right now what happened to the what happens to the right join right so if i write right join and let me again run these tables right so that okay so now instead of calling the ministers the king or you call all your you know people living in the kingdom and say the same thing that hey go to my palace right go to my palace and find people who find ministers who have the same name as yours return with the information right even if you cannot find a match right then also you return to me right so but again this person right so null either the person is a minister or a normal person living in the kingdom these people have egos so they will never find even if they can a person with the same name so they will always come back and say i could not find a match right so if i do a right join what will happen this person will find okay there are two ministers named same this person two will say oh i cannot find a match right so this two rows three rows this will again find two matches so five rows 
right and this person even though can find a match won't find a match right so six rows total let me run this and let's see what we have right okay so you see total six rows so uh, this person can find two match this person could not find a match and this person again one uh, could find two matches and this person even though they could they won't right so now why is five populated here in case of right outer join but not was was not populated in left outer join so you you understand the difference right so here people in this right so again let me just uh, run them back okay so here the king has asked the people in the kingdom to go so people if when they are going they already have their information right so that is why null five is already there they are just going to seek information and even if they can find a match they won't find a match right so you understand the difference between the right outer join and left outer join that is happening here right now so the, this these are the two differences so to answer the first question that i asked in, in the starting of the video can join occur on a null value no right what is the difference between inner join and outer join inner join you go find a match and if you cannot find a match don't come back this is inner join outer join you go find a match even if you can't find a match come back to me right and now finally cross join okay to understand the cross join first thing that you should notice is that there is no on clause for cross join so to answer the question that i asked in the beginning do you need on clause to perform a cross join no so to understand this in our analogy that we have been discussing the king the ministers and the kingdom so basically now up till now right so for inner join the king was sending one uh, either the ministers or the uh, you know people living in the kingdom to and there was no oversight so whatever they are going and uh, coming back with the information the king is accepting it now think of cross join as the king is inviting both the ministers and everyone living in the kingdom to his palace right and everyone is sitting so let's say on one side ministers are sitting and on another side these people are sitting and there is oversight so it is very simple right and what will the king say everyone has to meet everyone and the king is seeing that right so what will happen so one will go and we meet this one this one this one this one right so four rows similarly for this four rows so eight rows for this four rows 12 rows right now this person right so null as we saw that null is very egoistic in nature right null is very egoistic in nature whenever people either the minister or the person living in the kingdom was sent to find out if there is someone with your same name they always tend to say that okay there we cannot find a match but because now everyone is sitting right in front of the king right you cannot say that that hey this null right so this null didn't meet this null right so you cannot say that so that is why in cross join when you don't have a on clause then null is going to meet a person named null right so that is the difference right you need to keep that in mind that in inner join and outer joins or null is equal to null because the king is sending the person and there is no oversight then null is never going to find a match with the same name but when in the example of cross join the king is sitting right in front and have a oversight between the ministers and the people living in the kingdom then those null people can't be egoistic and they have to report it so now how many total rows are going to be there 12 or 16 the answer is 16 let me run this right so if you count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so you see this row null null 5 right so basically this shows that okay they had to meet they had to meet right so these this egoistic person had to meet this egoistic person and the king noted it had this been a left join 
they this row won't exist because they won't report that okay i am same as this person right so yeah this are this is the difference between the two joints and hopefully this example can be in your mind whenever you know someone asks you about what is the join and whether null can be used to perform a join why is null present in case of cross joints but not in outer joints right so these are the type of questions that people will ask you confuse you but always remember that king ministers and kingdom story that to reiterate inner join go find a match and if you cannot find a match don't come back outer joints left or right go find a match and even if you can't find a match come back to me and in that case is null a person or a minister named null they are egoistic they will never find a match in case of outer joints with the same name right they will always come back and say i cannot find a match but in case of cross joints the purse the king is not sending people the king is inviting the ministers as well as the people and since there is oversight so those null people can't be egoistic yeah, this is how the difference is hope hopefully now the concept of joints and how joints work and different kind of questions and how people can try to confuse you is clear in your mind let me know if if you were asked some other questions which i was not able to cover or you find difficulty understanding in in the comment section i will try to make a part 2 of it of all those questions and try to walk you through you know how what are the answers to those different type of joint questions so yeah i will see you guys in the next video